Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a little experiment. Today we're gonna find out how long does a gas canister last. Now this one is the, the 8 ounce can of the Isopro which is the butane and the propane mix. Now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna find out uh, how long it takes to boil two cups of water whether it's the jet boil or the the Optimus Crux light stove system. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna light these up, put them at full power and let them go for however long it takes to boil the water and then we're gonna see how long it takes to completely deplete the gas contents in each can. So today we're just gonna find out once and for all based on these two type of stove systems how long it's gonna take for the uh, gas can to deplete. Now as a disclaimer I also want to remind you guys that it depends also on the temperature outside so if it is freezing or below freezing and the canisters have been subjected to that kind of temperature it will affect the performance of it even though it is an off-season mixture so let's see if we can get this test going without blowing anything up and they each have two cups of water. Now I know usually that uh, when I do boil these, I'll cover these up, um, but for the sake of this testing, I'm just gonna keep these open to see um, how long they will boil with the lids uncovered. Also, I just did wanna give you guys a heads up that it is about 60 degrees and raining today. That is the test environment for this uh, test. All right, so it's been about three minutes and we got both of these boiling. So for now we're going to remove these and we're going to keep the stoves on. So both of these stoves are going at full blast right now. It's been about almost six minutes and we'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Just wanted to show you guys something here. Something Every once in a while the uh, the screen gets black. I think it's because of the screen saver, power saving. So I just gotta tap it a little bit to turn it back on. And you'll notice on the time lapse that once in a while, that once in a while the this iPad screen will shut off. But the timer is still counting. It's still going. It's just that the uh, the screen saver is uh, activating. So it's gotta tap it and it'll turn it back on. Also, just want to give you a heads up regarding the uh, the stove test. If you're wondering why it is still staying on without um, the rain affecting it, it's because I currently have it under a, a canopy. So the rain is uh, not affecting the stove performance because it's not making contact with the stove. Alright guys, so we're about two hours in. Just wanted to note a interesting observation. Um, as you can tell, between the two stoves, the one with the Optimus Crux Light stove has the frozen condensation around it, whereas the one with the jet boiler does not. Just thought that was an interesting thing to note. All right, something else to note in this experiment is that I try to keep the fire going over there. Um, this is so that we can see the smoke uh, kind of as an indicator of how strong the wind is around here. Uh, for this experiment, luckily, the wind hasn't been too strong, so I didn't need any um, wind deflectors around each of those uh, stoves at this point in time. But I'm not sure how much longer it's going to stay lit. 
The rain has been slowly putting out the fire. I don't know if you can tell the time lapse, but I've been trying to restart the fire uh, throughout the experiment by throwing like fat wood and, and some other pieces of wood in there. But it's almost going out, but that at least gives us an idea of what the wind uh, strength is like out here. All right. And of course, this thing went out again. Yep, we're at two hours and five minutes. All right, folks, looks like we got a development. Yeah, and it's completely light. So two hours and 20 minutes, full power on the crux light. We have our first defeat. So this one is done and the, the jet boil is still going. So if it is uh, about three minutes for two cups of water to boil, then we are looking at about 48 times you can boil two cups of water. That's 48 uses. And sometimes it'll be a little bit more, it'll be a little bit less with this stove depending on the environment and the temperature. Well, the phone battery died. We got about 335 in and it's officially dead. No more liquid in there. So let's stop that. So 335, that is actually a little bit over an hour over the other stove. So this gives us about 71 uses out of this canister with a jet boil. So we're looking at 71 uses, about three and a half hours. And that's uh, two cups of water to the boiling point. The jet boil does ha seem to be able to burn the fuel more efficiently uh, into creating more uses out of each of these gas canisters. So that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for joining me on this experiment. Hopefully it has provided some clarity on how long a gas canister can be used and how often. And it is pretty apparent that depending on the type of stove you use, uh, you'll be able to get um, increased or decreased number of uses for each gas canister. Um, so that's about it guys. So thanks for watching. If you have found this video useful, please feel free to subscribe as I'll be doing more experiments in the future with different items for outdoors and camping and whatnot. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.